Hello, and welcome to your reading. So in today's reading, I thought that since we're days away from wrapping up 2021, that we do a like final thoughts, final messages for 2021, wrap up 2021, see if there's any more lessons, messages, or anything else that we need to know as we close up this calendar year and move forward into 2022. So let's jump right in and let's just... Uh, Let's get four cards. One, two. Okay. <clears throat> so, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Okay. So, we've got the two of trees. I'm going to pull a couple clarifiers on this, too. We've got the... Four of trees. We've got the five of lotus. Okay, wow. And we've got the ten of lotus. Interesting that the first two are trees and the, and the next two are lotuses. The first thing I was really kind of actually focused on, and I'm surprised I haven't talked about this at all, but um, the, the year of 2021 actually symbolizes the number five in numerology because what you do is you basically add up those numbers two plus zero plus two plus one is five and fives in numerology are change and so this is the year it's been the year of change this kind of felt like it was the building blocks two one to four four to five five goes to ten it kind of doubled in a way of sense of like i don't know this is at least how i'm kind of seeing it right now in the moment as i'm feeling like double of two is four that kind of wraps up the trees, right? That's the tree energy. But then four automatically goes to five, right? Now we're in the lotus energy. Five multiplied makes 10. I don't know. That's just how it kind of came in as a message to me. Very interesting. Tens always close up the cycle of the chapter, or in this case, the calendar year, right? Because we move forward in new beginnings. But let's grab a couple clarifiers and let's go deeper. Let's clarify this two of trees. You know what's interesting? Um... It, it, I was just kind of thinking this. Let me see what came up. Oh, yeah, the mystic. Okay. Um, so there's another YouTuber. He's pretty famous. I don't know if you guys have heard of him or not, or I don't know. He's, like, way bigger than me. But um, his name's Aaron Dowdy, and I was watching his Instagram channel. I think it was on a story or something. And he, he was talking about this year, and he said it was the year of the shadow. And when he said it, it really resonated with me. And it, that energy was kind of coming forth in today when I was starting to pull the two. Because I was like, man, like, I'm like, it really was the year of the shadow. Like, I, oh, so much of my shadow came up this year that I was like, oh, my God, am I back in the Matrix? It was, like, really intense for a minute. And I was like, man, you know. And so I don't know if that en the energy was coming up. But it's interesting um, because as we go into 2022, we'll go into six and sixes are the harmony and the balance and everything will start to get stabilized on that. It kind of feels like what we're moving forward in the mystic when that kind of came out, when the mystic arc came out, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's what we're going to talk about, right? Let's keep going though. Let's pull the four, the four of the trees. Here's the thing with that though. Um, the universe can come in and teach us lessons, right? And if we don't learn it, it'll keep coming up and coming up in other people, places, or things to make it a little more challenging as it comes up. However, um, until you complete that cycle or close out that karma, karmic session, like it's going to keep showing up. And so it was kind of the year for us to really go deep and let go, purge all that ego the, or the shadow, right? <laughs> we are just talking about, um, but a time to transmute that energy so we can move into the mystic energy, but also transcend that stuff because we want to let it go and purge it, not bring it with us. Okay. Interesting. Cause I, I wasn't even sure what spread I was going to do. And I kind of just go in the moment because I'm a channeler or whatever kind of spirit guides me to. So I, I, sometimes a lot of the times I don't really have a plan. I'm like, here's the intention. I'll set the intention whatever message of spirit comes through. And I picked four as a very, grounding foundational number because it is and so the four of trees i feel like it's actually bringing a lot of stability and grounding letting go or releasing all of that stuff of this year so we can move forward into new beginnings but let's see what the clarifier is yeah the wanderer it's interesting because when this card comes out it reminds me of is it um 
the law of one talks about the wanderer which you could also say it's you're a light worker you're a star seed or the you're the one who chose to incarnate here on this earth so as much as i felt like oh my god all the shadow energy was here it was like almost so shadowy it was like matrixy right it's like that dark night of the soul energy but what happens after that you always go into the light so this is letting you know that no matter what happened this year right any trials, tribulations, challenges, sadness, grief, heartache, whatever happened was very purposeful. All this energy will be grounded out so we can move forward into new beginnings because here comes a change. But you know you're still on the spiritual path, right? You are that wanderer. You are the star seed. You are the light worker. This is still part of the journey. Maybe there might not be the full lesson complete or learned, or you may not see the big picture yet. That might be it. You might know that hindsight 2020 energy, right? Like, ah, oh, I get why that happened. That might not happen. Things might not come to light till next year, but that's okay. You're still, it's like, because I'm hearing the roadmap to life. So I feel like it's still, you're still on this journey. But let's clarify the five and see what we get, because that's the change. Okay, beautiful. Oh, did I? I didn't even grab the blue deck. I just realized I've only been using the green deck. I guess we weren't meant to use the blue deck. Okay, all right, I'm going to keep going with it. So I was like, wait a second, I'm using all the same deck. I wanted to use this other deck over here. They're like uh, my little twin decks. But I guess I guess we're not supposed to use the blue one today. It's okay. Okay, three of birds. Very interesting. That's kind of what we're letting go of. And look, as the birds are kind of, oh my God, the birds, like they're being shut down and dying. But here's the thing. With every death becomes a rebirth, right? So, oh, that's so beautiful that it came on the five. Because what was I just saying? Even with all that shadow energy, you may not know what's going on. And you probably won't see until next year because you're going through that death and rebirth. So, as I was feeling like, oh my God, there's all this matrix energy kind of going on. Or dark night of the soul. That's what it really more feels like, right? But on the other side of it, you get through the, you get, got through the journey. Here you come on the other side reborn there's the change going into next year getting back oh that's why it's telling you everything that happened that year is purposeful and it actually was on your path bringing you into new beginnings and new energies oh and it's so much lighter and free after that i know it comes after this it's hard when you're in it to remember that but that's what that feels like right yeah, this is a big change, death and rebirth energy, letting go. Huge, huge purge. That's what they're just saying right now. The collective um, has been going through a huge, huge pur purge, especially those that are like star seeds, light workers, empaths that we were just talking about, right? He, individually, you guys have been going through some purges. You probably went through a couple of them. Um, your timelines will all be different, but somewhere maybe six months ago, maybe right before summer, the beginning of summer, you went through one. It feels like there's another one because they were kind of coming in as one of them was a little bit heavier. And I'm not sure you guys aren't going to relate all relate with this as these are general, but get, some of you went through that heavier purge a few months back and some of you are going through it now, but they were just referencing something to me to, um, to understand how, uh, in intense it was. Cause they said, um, they just say, sorry, they say stuff and I keep talking, talking, talking. I lost it. Oh, it was like a midlife crisis. But then they, I heard that and then it brought it down a quarter life crisis. Again, do I think you're actually going through one? No, but they were emphasizing that as a feeling to say, oh, that dark night energy or whatever they're purging, letting go of, or it just challenges and everything that happened, you know, this year, that was all, that's how intense. And they were highlighting just one of them. So for some of you, that may be that time now. For some of you, it could have happened back. I don't know. They just said April. But again, sometime earlier in the year to mid-year, it felt like there was a break in between them. There was just at least two that they were kind of highlighting, okay? But they're also saying two timelines. So that's why I feel like some of you, it might have been a little bit more rockier a few months back. or Or you could be going through it now. Or even some of you, it could have been carrying through in different energy. It could uh, a little bit lighter, but it's 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 been this nonstop motion, right? So whatever it is, there is some kind of see. That's why it resonated so much when Aaron said that when he said Shat, the year of the shadows. Like, oh God, I feel it. If you guys feel that as as well, let me know in the comments. Like, let me know if you totally resonate because I resonated when he said that and it came up in the reading. So. I'm wondering if you guys are all been feeling that too, right? Has there been something going on where you feel you felt that dark night or you felt like you went back in the matrix or you felt like 
challenging time. There's something happened. All these tests and trials and tribulations. And listen, we had a lot of retrogrades this year. We had like five planets retrograde for like five months. That was some chaotic time. Man, I remember when they first started, it was, there was some intense energies going on. So let me know if you guys resonate with this, right? Um, but let's get to the last one. Interesting because the last one, letting go with love to start anew. We're literally days away, ending 2021. <laughs> let's grab one more card to clarify that 10 of lotuses. Okay, wow, look at that. It's another three, right? Because we have the two lotuses and now we have threes up here. But this feels so helpful. This feels like a beautiful energy. Look at where you're transcending into or transmuting the energy of darkness, the pain, the regret, the sadness, the heartache. There's the death and rebirth. And look what you get born into. Beautiful energy. Magnificent energy. Abundance. Beautiful world. A whole new world that you can create. Co-create with God. And you can start anew, right? The tens end. But that feels like that huge transition, right? This feels like what you're starting with. It almost feels like a clean slate. Like meaning there's like this blank chalkboard or whiteboard or whatever, right? You can go right, create your new destiny, right? There's a new whole new world is what it feels like waiting for you. It's also waiting for you just to tap into that energy. For I'm also getting a little side message. For some of you that are more new on the spiritual awakening path, this energy is coming in really strong as the message for you that like, hey, law of attraction or law of vibration, as I like to call it, um, it is is there and it's a real thing and so is manifestation and you can actually co-create with god and you can speed up timelines and make things come to you quicker listen how do you tap in the 5d imagination the mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what's not short answer i'm shortening my whole little spiel here without going on a huge lecture but like i do it so sorry i just end up in tandems all the time but here what i'm saying is you can manifest anything you want money job love whatever you get in alignment this feels like there's a lot of new souls about to awaken but the ones that they're on the awakening path right now in 2021 that are just waking up it feels like the world is your oyster and you can manifest anything and it, that's why i think they're coming with this clean blank slate that they're saying take advantage of this energy and this time and they're asking you to Trust the process and dive into the spiritual path because it feels like you're about to, wow, like really wake up out of the matrix and, and see that you can manifest anything. It's literally it, whatever you like. Work with the elements. It's It feels like the world is your oyster and it feels like there's a lot of selective souls out there that are just starting to realize this. And so they might be trying some... And, and, and if you haven't, this is also some things like you could start, oh, does manifestation work? Let me see if I can manifest this. Can I do it in 24 hours, or three days or something like that? But like kind of testing the ropes out and like, wow, like calling in these energies and starting to work with them. But this feels like a fresh, new, clean slate, right? Like, oh my God, I can, I can manifest whatever I like, whatever I desire, right? Because listen, I am part of the universe and part of God. It feels like a lot of people are starting to realize this. It feels like it's for the majority of you, it's happening, um, it's either already happened or happening this year. And there are some of you that will be waking up in the beginning of next, the, the 2022. But again, the message was coming really strong for those selective few that were waking up in this year. Okay. It does feel there's a lot of you that have already woke up before then. But this message was coming in that clean slate, that blank slate, like the world of the ocean. It's coming really strong for those selective few that have been going through the awakening this year. Like they're just starting to realize, wow, like... Go create your wildest dreams, right? Okay. Are they starting to learn how to tap into the 5D, really? Okay. All right, guys. Okay. I think we're going to wrap up the reading right there. And we'll wrap up the 2021, right? Because we're ready to bring in 2022. New energies are coming in, right? Okay. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, do me a favor and that thumbs up button. This way I know you got something and it resonated. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a bell too. You want the bell and turn on all notifications because I do daily videos. I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. The next message just might be the message that you need to hear today. All right, my loves. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, be blessed.